Hello there, and as usual, I'm here for my Stan Gamers, and welcome. So over the last few weeks, I've been watching a series called Stranger Things. If you've heard nothing about it, I'll try not to give too many spoilers away, but it has this really interesting concept of parallel universes, or parallel worlds, worlds that are extremely similar, but have a different set of parameters. In the case, they call it the Upside Down, where everything exists in the normal world, that exists in the upside down world, but the upside down world is just overgrown, decayed, and has these weird sort of goo and plants going all over it. And I just really wanted to do a little bit of a build in Space Engineers to kind of show that concept off. And then I took it a step further. I started talking to some different modders, and they had this idea of building a planet. Now, not a usual planet, the idea would you'd have the parallel universe inside the actual planet itself. So on the outside, it would look like an Earth-like planet like this. Then hundreds and thousands of meters inside the planet, you'd have an ex exact duplicate of the planet's landscape, upside down, and with the alien life inside it. And if this ever, like, kind of kicks off the ground, this will be a really cool and unusual planet to actually have a go at. But I'll keep you up to date as they try to develop that or try messing around with the concept. But the main point of this video is to discuss the concept of parallel universes and really get a sort of deep scientific discussion going on. Give me some facts, give me some opinions, and just throwing in some good old sci-fi shenanigans as well. So the basic concept is that people are, or we are stuck on one plane. So for instance, we're stuck on this plane that is the standard. We can move forwards and back, back on it, and the film, or, well not the film, the show, uh, kind of demonstrates this really cool. It shows a man on a tightrope going backwards and forwards, and he can only go backwards and forwards, but then the scientist explains that a flea can crawl on the sides of the rope, and underneath the rope, technically walking between the two universes itself, but saying we aren't capable of ourselves. But then he explains with enough power, it would be possible to punch through and go into the parallel universe itself. And now this is a, quite a famous theory, I do believe. I forgot the name that comes to mind well, about this theory itself, but it just fascinated me on the idea that there could be worlds extremely similar to ours, or there could be exact duplicates of our worlds running on slightly different timelines where certain events just never happen, or certain events just change the way that universe plays out. Who knows, you could have all sorts of mad things in play there. You could have the Germans won the war, a total, a total different set of parameters changing. You could have a world like this where plant life, oxygen and everything has just developed differently and humans are not as dominant and live in fear of weird creatures and whatnot. It's just one of their really cool theories that just throws my mind into sort of amazement and that's why I love building these set pieces every now and then. They're not super functional but they get the idea of cross and especially for developers or people that are trying to visualize a, a sort of world or what I would like to see in a modification then it shows you exactly what you can do. But these are all movie props, I'll link them in the description below and just a few concepts for you to think about. And especially, something that also got me quite excited about Stranger Things, I'm going to spoil it, is the creatures themselves. What sort of creatures would you have on both worlds? You could have normal on one, you could have horribly mutated on the parallel. I don't know. See, see, this is what I mean. You could go with any sort of conclusion of what that parallel universe could be like. It might not even have the same laws of physics. It could just be a random sort of interpretation of physics that ripple across between the universe themselves. I mean, you could just think of endless possibilities for having two parallel worlds like this. Anyway, me just throwing some concepts, something that was on my mind out there, and showing you this cool little overgrown set piece. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you.